Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video, SJWs. Now if you don't know what that means, uh, it means social justice warriors. Uh, back in college, uh, I learned this, I learned of this, um, this expression, or phrase, or well, what have you. If you're, um, if you're not a, if you're not a liberal in your 20s, if you're not a liberal before you're 30, then you're heartless. If you're not a conservative after you're 30, then you're brainless. Um, and I concluded to that that I must be a heartless individual because <laughs> I wasn't very uh, I wasn't very liberal, you know, in my um, and um, early on in my youth. Um, you know, my birthday just passed uh, recently. I'm, I'm 27, and I still hold at least I hold on to more refined uh, conservative values. Or at least I, I learned to identify what what are true conservative values, you know, personal responsibility, thrift, uh, frugality, ingenuity, and what have you. But there seems to be, um, and, and I've I've met people like this when I when I was when, um, going back to high school, and and, and and definitely in college, and even out of and even um, in the workplace, I met people like this who think uh, they there's there's. They're so easily, they're so easily offended, or they're so easily uh, <laughs> the word, I guess I have to use the word triggered <laughs> um, by uh, you know by this by trivial things, by the smallest things. Whether you didn't you know you use the word they didn't like, um, you didn't adhere to uh, a certain way of thinking, and and they get butt hurt. They get upset, they get pissed off, they throw tantrums. It's actually uh, the same reaction you would expect from a five-year-old if you took their favorite toy from them. Um, and if, you know, personally, I love seeing. I, I, I mean, there's some some parts I I, I, I have to turn, I have to look away. But I really do like seeing um, social justice warriors. <laughs> uh, kind of lo lose it, lo lose their cool, um, because it, because it's for me, it lets it it sh it shows me something I could have become <laughs> if uh, if things went awry somewhere in my past. You know, maybe a lot of, maybe a lot of these young people are um, are unfathered. You know, uh, and that's not to say that they haven't they didn't have a father in the home, but they didn't. They weren't. They didn't have masculinity instilled in them. The boys and the girls. You know, this expression. You know, when the men were men and the women were two, uh, that alludes to having masculine qualities. And one of them is being being able to being able to discern. You know, discern what is what is worth having outrage over, and what is trivial. And from what I've seen, from what I've seen from a lot of a. Uh, you know, a lot of things going on in the media. Um, this, this, this whole, this whole notion that your feelings must be protected from the outside. It says, I think, it, I think it gives, it gives a, it gives kind of a view as to what you can expect if things fall apart. What kind of people you can expect to see um, hurting themselves or. Harming others, or just flat out, um, or just flat out getting, you know, getting wiped out. You know, um, when you have a group of people who, you know, they're they're not they're not, they're, their heads not there. It's almost like a part of their something's not firing up there. So, you know, I don't know. The, the transmission has been has been serviced in a while. <laughs> um, they can't grasp the fact that there are people who think differently than them. And they wind up throwing out all these pejoratives, you know, you're homophobe, you're sexist, you're racist. So, and, and on a side note, sometimes I, sometimes I, I actually I want to see I like to see white men in the U.S. Uh, balk uh, <laughs> balk at those pejoratives, or just flat out say, you know what? So what? Yeah, I am. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Basically, challenge them because they're obviously not gonna do anything but just throw another tantrum. Or go, you know, go online and you know, and bitch about it. You know, um, you know, there is a, you know, yeah. Now there is. The, I'm not stupid. I'm not ignorant to the fact that there's the risk of, um, 
some social repercussions. But the but but the bowing down to those kind to those kind of uh, you know kowtowing to that that kind of react those kind of reactions they carry far uh, far greater risk um, down the road. I mean, yeah, you just yeah you made them go away, but now they got that on you. And they now they can just now they can find something else to drum up in the, drum up in their imagination to try to pin you with. And then you're gonna want to cow to that, and it's, it's and it's it's unbecoming. It's unbecoming of a, of of, of uh, it's unbecoming of a man, especially of men. That's why I had to point out white men because they seem to be, have always have a target on their on their back. But uh, yeah, I've been thinking about I've been thinking about a lot of these uh, a lot of these social justice warriors. Um, if they can't if they can't get their act straight, they can't get it together. They're fucked. You know, I can't can't think of any other way to say it. Um, I mean, someone who gets someone who gets butt hurt, someone who gets triggered over the wrong over um, their their preferred gender not being not being said, or what they identify as is not being um, is not being said. Most likely by someone who hasn't even met them. Someone who doesn't know anything really about them. They're going off there, you know, what's hardwired in them. You look like a woman, I'm going to call you a woman. Stuff like that. Um, if, that's what, if that's what sets them off, if that's what, you know, gets them all, gets them bit out of shape, I don't know how these people are going to fare, uh, you know, when hard times comes around. When it's stuff that my grandparents have to go through, you know, they, they, they my, my grandparents on my mother's side, they grew up in, they were both born in 37, you know, in South Carolina. <laughs> um, they had far greater issues to worry about than, you know, the stuff that, that people get, that people get bent out of shape for, bent out of shape for right now. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, like I said, it got me thinking, I mean, what, they, <laughs> this is, if this kind of thing doesn't get, um, if this kind of thing doesn't get, uh, Situated soon. Um, when it comes time, you know when when they, when you know what, what we what, what we anticipate is actually going to ha- actually happens. They're they're in a, they're in for a world of pain, you know, and, and it's sad. It's gonna be sad. You're gonna have um, uh, you know you have a lot of young people. They're um, they're not finding work. They're they they do not see any benefit to their having. A capitalist economy. And that's actually that's actually shocking. It's surprising that you have a lot of young people, especially these SJWs who support socialism, instead of being benefits of socialism, they have private property. They own things. You know whether whether they bought it themselves or they or someone gave it to them. They have things, but they don't understand that the system, the thing, what the system that they think is actually beneficial to them is is actually going to make them equal along everyone else. You know, I mean, they all I mean uh, they all want equality. Um, at least, at least this, that's what it seems to be. But they're gonna be equal in dirt. You know. So I know it's like it's there's a there's lack of lack of accountability, lack of personal responsibility, and it's, it's disheartening. And then you have what's, what's even crazier is you have older people. You have older people, probably twice twice the age of most. You know, most people who I guess would fall in the you know, the, in the fall within the, the category of uh, social justice warriors, a lot of these older people facilitate this kind of n- nonsense. They push this throw, they push this stuff in their heads that oh, you're so special, you know, you're unique. Um, you can't, you know, you 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 can't be blamed for your screw ups. There's always someone else, i.e., white white guys. And we're gonna have, you know, all this stuff's gonna be done for you, so you don't have to, so you don't have to feel ashamed or feel worried about, you know, whether someone calls you a slut or someone calls you fat, someone calls you ugly. No, <laughs> I remember seeing a video a long time ago. I may actually did a video about that, about this, about something I saw, about what I saw, and it was basically it was it was nature in a nutshell, and it was a baboon. And I think I think I did a video about this sometime, maybe two years ago. I just watched a video of a baboon eating a baby gazelle, and the gazelle was still alive. And this thing, and this baboon was just didn't care, just eating it, just feeding itself. That's nature. If people who have that motor thinking cannot get past these the soft stuff, 
They're not ready. They're not prepared for. Um, they're not prepared for what's down the road. They're not prepared for the baboons out there. You know, a lot of them actually are baby gazelles, and and it's and it, it it's it's a bit, it could be the it's, it's sometimes it's a bit disheartening. More more often than not, it's actually funny. You know, <laughs> to see wow, these people are actually upset about this. But uh, I'm saying, young people, people around my age, maybe people a little bit older. Um, it's not looking pretty, um, and I hope things can be turned around um, soon. At least for you know, at least for a good number, at least for a good number of people. I hope they you know stop with this social justice activism and, and, and try to understand that. Listen, there are bigger fish to fry. There, are, there's a lot. There is it gets there are darker things down you know down the path. All these idioms. <laughs> Um, and they need to mentally prepare themselves and emotionally prepare themselves um, for what's for what's to come if, if you know if things go the way like I said the way we anticipate or just in general you know there's no need to be you know getting so getting so easily offended it's a shame especially when you see when you see, when you see guys doing that kind of when you see guys you know getting pissed off you know at the drop of a hat about about trivial things, but that's my video. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, I'd be happy to see what you know. Read your comments. You know, see a video response. If your first time see, uh, checking out my channel, please I encourage you to check out my older videos and look forward to new videos to come. I finally got a GoPro. I finally was able to get this GoPro rig set up. Um, so hopefully I can you know start doing some uh, some shooting footage. Uh, you know where. You know, basically, you see, you know, you see, you have, uh, you basically just see me shooting guns. <laughs> it comes down, it just basically comes down to that. And you grab some complaints, especially from SAW, send me a PM, I'll see what I can do to address them. If you think I'm a homophobe, or you think I'm sexist, or you think I'm Uncle Tom, oh well. I'm still, <laughs> most likely, I'm still going to be standing. Hopefully, God willing. But that's my video. Uh, Social Justice Warriors, or SJWs, I'm Edward Jones. And thanks for watching.